been five years in the making to completely transform uh, this wonderful part of Mayfair and London. The first person I'd like to thank is a lady that has brought this project to fruition and particularly our collaboration with the Royal Academy, our neighbours right here who are celebrating a wonderful 250th anniversary this year and to bring public art which Mayfair and Bond Street is so well known for and will continue to be known for and that is uh, Cynthia Grant, our project director who I think deserves a wonderful round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, when we first arrived here, it was absolutely silent. And now the buzz of Mayfair is getting going. And that shows why having a great sculpture in a new town square is the absolute key. Not in the slightly sinister way of a de Chirico in a deserted town square, but here in a busy and lively new town square. We're particularly keen to reinforce the identity of this part of London. The identity of this part of London is essentially one of art and of making. Whether that's the tailors of Savile Row, or the art students of the Royal Academy, or the art dealers, or the auction houses, this area has a precious identity which is known worldwide. So I'm immensely grateful for those of you who've had the vision to support that identity by improving the streetscape. Thank you, Christopher, and thank you, everybody, for bringing this project to fruition. I welcome this uh, significant piece of art as a landmark to this important junction and also as an entrance to the Royal Academy's new galleries. Now to the unveiling. Thank you. 